So you need to scale up your database. That's a good problem to have, but it can quickly become an expensive one, like really expensive. Let's look at how. Let's say this is our application. We've got all of our application logic here, and the application communicates with a single instance SQL database. It could be Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, etc. The concept is the same. When we need to scale our database, we can try scaling up by improving the hardware that's running our database software. But adding RAM, CPU, and disk to a single machine gets expensive quickly. And that still leaves us with a single point of failure. If anything goes wrong with this machine, our database, and by extension our application, goes offline. So the solution is usually horizontally scaling, sharding our database out onto multiple nodes that can each handle a part of the workload. Simple in theory, but really complicated in practice when we're doing it manually. The first problem with manual sharding is deciding how to break up the data in our database. Ideally, we want to end up with each database node sharing a roughly equivalent amount of work. Figuring out how to split up the data to make that happen and then actually doing that partitioning work takes time. So let's say we've invested those engineering hours and we've got a great plan for splitting up our data across three database nodes. Now we're confronted with an even bigger problem. How is our application gonna communicate with them? Our application code is all written with the assumption that there's a single instance database containing all of our data. Now that our data is spread across multiple database nodes, every part of our application that touches data will need to be reworked to account for that change. For example, when a customer places an order and we need to store that data on the database, which shard do we send that write to? We'll have to add routing logic to our application to account for that. We'll need to write custom logic to handle a lot of other scenarios too. Joins of data across multiple shards, transactions that touch rows on multiple shards, error handling for if one or more shards go offline. We'll have to write code to handle all of that and more. There are third-party tools that can lessen the burden of this step in the process, but they tend to come with their own setup challenges and limitations that might not work for our use case. Anyway, let's say we've done all that. We've invested many more engineering hours, and we've got our application up and running in production with a sharded SQL database. Unfortunately, that's still not the end of the story. Having a manually sharded database makes a lot of management and operations tasks more challenging. For example, what happens if we need to update the schema? Now we need to plan and execute that across multiple database nodes. And what about analytics? Any data pipelines or other analytics operations we've built will need to be rewritten to account for the fact that our data is now spread across multiple nodes. Creating backups, adding indexes, updating database software, all of these things and more get more complex and take more time with a manually sharded database. We're still not done though. What if over time usage patterns change and one node is getting more heavily stressed than the others? We may need to repartition the database to rebalance it, which means we have to redo a lot of the work we already did adjusting our application logic to account for the sharding. And what if our company continues to scale up? In time, we'll hit the limits of our three node setup and we'll have to scale out again. That means doing almost everything all over again, from planning the partitioning to reworking the application logic, this time to account for an even more complex setup due to the increased number of nodes. All of this is doable, but it comes at a tremendous cost that's not readily apparent when you look at the licensing cost for the database. First, there's the obvious cost in engineering hours. Every hour our team spends on database ops is an hour they can't spend doing more important work like building new features. But there's an even more insidious cost here too. Because a sharded setup is operationally complex, even when our engineers are working on new features, they'll have to work at a slower pace because everything they develop that touches the database will have to account for the complex manually sharded setup. Particularly for mission critical workloads, you want a database setup that is simple because simple is reliable. Manual sharding can work, but it's definitely not simple. So for companies that need a relational database, is there a better way? There is, automated sharding. Advanced distributed SQL databases such as CockroachDB are built from the ground up to replicate and distribute our data across multiple nodes automatically while still allowing our application to treat the database like it was a single Postgres instance, for example. That means there's no figuring out how to split up our data, no manually rewriting application logic to account for the shards, and no heavy ops load on our team. 
There's also no downtime and very little manual work required for operational tasks like updating the schema or updating the database software. And when it's time for us to scale up again, that's as simple as clicking Add Node. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. So before you invest thousands of hours into manually sharding your database, find out what upgrading to distributed SQL has done for some of the world's best companies, from tech startups to global financial institutions.